Lesson 1, Using ATM I just got my first ATM card. That's great. Do you know how to use it? Actually, I could use some help. Let's go to our bank's ATM. Does it have to be my bank's ATM? It should be, or else you will get hit with fees. Once I put my card in, what do I do? You need to put your PIN number in. I wrote my PIN number down. It's in my wallet. To be safe, you should memorize it. Once I punch in my PIN number, what do I do? You need to choose what transaction you want to make. Lesson 2. Making a deposit. I'd like to deposit my paycheck. Do you have an account here? I have a checking account. You need to fill out a deposit slip. Where can I find those? There are deposit slips on the tables throughout the branch. What information do I put on the deposit slip? You need to put the name on the account, the account number, and the amount of the deposit. How long till I can access the money? You can access it immediately. Can I only take a deposit with a teller? No, you can also use an ATM or even your cell phone. Lesson 3. Different Bank Accounts Now that I have my first job, I need a bank account. What kind of bank account are you going to open? There are different types of bank accounts. You can open a checking account. That means I'll have checks to pay bills, right? Yes, and you'll get a debit card you can use, too. That's different from a credit card, right? Yes, a debit card takes money directly from your bank account. So, what is a savings account? That's a low-interest earning account meant for you to save money. So, that's not for everyday spending. No, that's to save up for your retirement. Lesson 4. Canceling a check I need to stop payment on a check that I wrote. Do you have a copy of the check you wrote? Yes, I was able to get a digital copy online. Why are you stopping payment on this check? I paid my landlord already. So you don't want him to get paid twice? I don't have the money to pay him twice. We can only stop payment if the check hasn't cashed already. Is there a fee to stop the payment? Yes, there is a $10 fee. That's better than paying my rent twice. I suppose it is. Lesson 5. Paying Fees I'd like to make a deposit. Will you be putting this deposit towards the fees you owe? What fees do I owe? You owe an overdraft fee of $35, a minimum balance fee of $8, and an ATM fee of $2. So much for free checking. Nothing in this life is free. Take what I owe from the amount that I just deposited. Will that be all? I want to close my bank account. I'm so sorry to hear that. Can I ask why? It's because of all the extra fees. Most banks charge fees. Lesson 6. Reporting Wrong Charges I want to contest some charges I see on my account. Do you think your account has been compromised? I think I am a victim of identity theft. What proof do you have? I did not buy anything in Miami last week. How can we be sure? I work here in New Jersey. We will open an investigation. How long will that take? The investigation can take up to six weeks. I need my money now, though. 
The charges you can test will be frozen. Lesson 7, a bounce check. What is this returned check fee on my statement? It means you bounced a check. What does that mean? It means you wrote a check, but you didn't have enough money in your account to cover it. So my landlord never got paid? No, and the bank charged you a fee. So what do I do now? Do you have enough money to pay your rent? I do, but I think I'm going to pay in cash. Your landlord may also charge you a fee for bouncing the check. I need to be more careful about my spending. Bouncing a check ends up costing you more money. Lesson 8. Canceling an account. I want to close my account. We're sorry to lose you as a customer. Can I ask why? I keep getting hit by fees. We have a new low fee checking account. I was already on the basic checking plan and you guys still charged me a ton of fees. Have you registered for online banking? Yeah, and I never got my statements. Have you tried our mobile app with text alerts? My phone isn't compatible. Just close the account. You have $425 in the account. Pay it to me in cash. We hope you will try banking with us again. Lesson 9. Opening a bank account. I'd like to open a checking account. We would love to have you as our customer. What documents do you need from me? Do you have state-issued identification? Is my driver's license okay? That's perfect. I also need your social security number. Is there a minimum balance requirement? Our basic checking account has a $25 minimum balance per month. I can keep that in my account? I also need proof of address. Can I show you my gas bill? Yes. Now I need you to sign some papers. Lesson 10. Asking about checks. I would like to order some checks. Since you only have our basic checking account, it will cost you. I don't need that many checks. One box of checks is $15. Can I choose what my checks will look like? Yes, we have many different designs to choose from. I would like kittens on my checks. The kitten checks cost $18 per box. That is a small price to pay for cuteness. We can deduct that amount directly from your checking account. How long till I receive my checks? The checks take approximately two weeks to arrive. Lesson 11. Cashing a check. I would like to cash this check. Did you endorse the check? What does endorse mean? It means you need to sign the back of the check. I will do that right now. Can I have your account number and identification, please? Oh, I don't have an account here. Then there will be a $10 fee to cash the check. Do I have to pay that fee? An alternative would be to open an account here. I already have a checking account at another bank. Then you should cash your check there. Lesson 12, Minimum Balance Requirement. What's the minimum balance requirement to open a checking account? For our basic checking account, you need to maintain a $50 minimum. What other types of accounts are there? Our premium checking account requires a $100 minimum. What makes it premium? Your money will earn some interest if it's a premium checking account. What happens if I don't have the minimum balance? You will be charged $25 a month if you have a basic checking account. 
Does anyone offer free checking anymore? It's free if you maintain the minimum. I don't have a steady job right now. Maybe you should just keep your money under your mattress. Lesson 13, Making a Withdrawal I'd like to make a withdrawal. Will that be from your checking or savings account? I don't have a savings account. Then it will be from your checking account. I'd like to take out $200. Do you have a withdrawal form? Where can I get one of those? They are located right behind you on the table. What do I need to write on the form? You need to write the name on the account, the account number, and how much you want to take out. Is that all? I also need photo identification. Lesson 14, not getting a bank statement. I have a problem with the checking account I have at this bank. What seems to be the problem? I keep getting hit with fees, but I'm not getting my statements. Did you opt to get online statements? I did, but I haven't seen any in my inbox. Perhaps they are going to your spam folder. I didn't even think of that. We can't refund all of your fees, but I can refund this month's. That would be helpful. May I suggest you get regular paper statements? Since I'm not tech savvy, that's a good idea. Just confirm your mailing address for me. Lesson 15, Transferring Money. I'd like to transfer some money. Between what two accounts would you like to transfer the money? I'd like to transfer $100 from my savings account to my checking account. All right, you just need to fill out this slip of paper. What information do I need to write down? You need to write both account numbers and how much you are transferring. Is the money available immediately? It is. Could you please show me identification? Is there a limit to how many transfers I can make? You can make up to 25 free transfers in a year. What happens if I want to make more? There is a fee for making more transfers. Lesson 16, ATM card being declined. I'm sorry, but your card was declined. This is my ATM card, and I know I have money in my account. Maybe you have less money in the account than you thought. I just checked my balance this morning. Your account may have been frozen. Why would the bank do that? You should contact your bank. How else can I pay for these items? Do you have a credit card? I can write you a check. If it's from the same bank account as your ATM card, then I can't accept that check. I guess I can't go shopping today, then. Lesson 17, Over Withdrawal Why do I have a negative balance on my checking account? This means you used more money than you actually had in your account. So, what do I do now? The negative amount is how much you owe the bank. Am I going to be hit with an extra fee? The bank will charge you a $35 overdraft fee. How long do I have to pay the negative amount back? You should do it as soon as possible or else the bank can charge you more money. What happens if I don't pay it back? The bank can close your account and send the balance to collectors. That's not good for my credit. No, it's not. You better get it taken care of. Lesson 18, asking about fees. What fees does this bank charge? There are different fees depending on the kind of account you have with us. I have a basic checking account. 
There is no fee for a basic checking account unless you have less than the minimum balance. How much is the minimum balance? You need to have at least $25 in your account every day or else you will pay an $8 monthly fee. Are there overdraft charges? Yes. For each overdraft, there is a $35 fee. What about ATM fees? If you use one of our ATMs, there is no fee. What if I use another bank's ATM? Then you will be charged $2. Lesson 19, Opening a Savings Account I'd like to open another account. That's great. What kind of account would you like to open? I already have a checking account here. So, would you like to open a savings account? Will I earn interest on a savings account? As long as you make regular deposits and do not make withdrawals. What is an interest rate? You will earn 1% interest per month. Can I transfer money from my checking account? Of course you can. We can even set it up so it happens automatically. Are there any fees? There is a one-time $10 service fee. Lesson 1. Losing weight. You lost a lot of weight. Yes. Thank you for noticing. You look great. How did you do it? I started eating a lot healthier. That's too hard for me to do. I also exercise four times a week. Oh, I don't have time for that. It can be hard to find time. However, it is worth it. I'm thinking of just trying some new diet pills. I suggest you try to do it naturally. I can help you if you want. That'd be great. Lesson 2. A Hair Treatment My hair isn't soft and shiny anymore. Maybe you should do a hair treatment. Hair products are expensive, though. You can use certain foods to do it, too. Really? Which ones? I heard that avocado is really good for your hair. Oh, gross! I don't want to smell like mayonnaise. Well, other people use avocado. Great! I could either be a sandwich or a salad. You could always use baby oil and shampoo. Now that sounds more pleasant. If you say so, I don't mind using avocado. Lesson 3. Too much coffee. How many cups of coffee have you had today? I don't know. Three, maybe? Don't you think it's a little too much? No way. Coffee is good for you. Too much of anything is bad for you. What about water? Sure, people drown all the time. Well, I'd happily drown in coffee. Did you know coffee stains your teeth brown? Does it really? Yes, your teeth will rot if you drink too much. I'd better stop then. Girls like nice white smiles. Lesson 4. Face Mask Why are you wearing a face mask? I don't want to catch anything. You won't get sick from breathing fresh air. There are germs floating everywhere. It is still unlikely that you will get sick. Why do you say that? Most of the time, we get sick from germs on our hands. You're kidding, right? Nope. We touch a lot of dirty things every day. 
I need some hand sanitizer. I didn't mean for you to become paranoid. I'm not paranoid. I just want to be healthy. Lesson 5, Yoga. Why are you limping around like that? I signed up for the new yoga class. Did they make you do all those weird positions? Yes, some of those stretches hurt. I'm not flexible enough for yoga. I don't think I am either. Why did you sign up for it? I heard it's good for your body. I heard mostly women take that class. Well, there's that too. This is a punishment for your bad intentions. Maybe. Either way, I don't deserve this. Lesson 6. Caught a cold. I think I'm going to head home. Already? It's only midday. I think I have a fever. That's terrible. Does your head hurt? Yes, it's killing me. You should go home if you're not feeling well. I'm going to tell the boss that I'm leaving early. I'm sure he will understand. On the way home, I'll pick up some soup. Make sure to drink lots of fluids. I will. Thank you. I hope you feel better soon. Lesson 7. Insomnia I'm so tired today. Did you stay up late watching TV again? No, I tried to sleep at 11 p.m. And you couldn't fall asleep? No, I lay in bed until 3 a.m. Isn't that the time you usually fall asleep? I suppose it is, actually. Your body is too used to going to sleep really late. What should I do? I'm tired. Try to tire yourself out and sleep early today. Tonight is the season finale, though. You're hopeless. Lesson 8. Healthy Snacks Your son is so healthy. He is already very concerned with fitness. That is so wonderful. He likes to eat healthy and exercise every day. My son likes chocolate and video games. That is not good for him at all. I don't know what to do with him. Make him some fun snacks for school. I gave him a carrot stick once. That's a good snack. Later he admitted that he gave it to the school rabbit. Well, at least the rabbit eats its vegetables. Lesson 9. Cramp while swimming. Ah! I've got a cramp in my foot. Stop swimming and roll onto your back. It really hurts. It will stop hurting if you rest a little. Why did you tell me to roll on my back? It's easier if you just flow until the pain stops. It hurts even more if I don't move my foot. At least your face is not in the water. I think the cramp went away. Can you move your foot now? Yes. Thanks for your quick thinking. No problem. Let's get to the shallow water. Lesson 10. Washing Hands Public restrooms gross me out. They're not always bad. Even when they look clean, there are germs everywhere. That's because so many people don't wash their hands. That makes me so angry. Me too. Washing hands is a simple thing to do. I think everyone is just too lazy to do it. It's very rude of them. 
I agree. Even five-year-olds know better than not to wash their hands. But there's not much we can do about it. Lesson 11, running a fever. I think David is running a fever. What should we do? His parents are not here. I don't want to give him anything he shouldn't take. How do we know what those is all right for him? Can they help us? They're not doctors. It's worth a try. What's the number? It's here on this receipt. Thank you. Can you call his parents? What should I say? We need to let him know. He is feeling sick. Lesson 12. Emergency. Concussion. Hello, 911. I need an ambulance. What's the situation? My friend fell off her bike and hit her head. Is she unconscious? No, but she is bleeding a lot. Please tell me your location. We are near the community college. Please don't let her stand. Do you have her ID? Yes, I also found her insurance card. Good. You will need those at the hospital. She is beginning to feel less dizzy. Good. Just sit tight. The ambulance will be there soon. Lesson 13. Wait 30 minutes. So hot. Let's go swimming now. We have to wait a while before swimming. But why? The sun is so hot. It's bad to swim after you just ate. Why? Will you sink in the water? No. The motion and sudden cold will make you sick. What kind of sick? It can make you nauseated and you might throw up. How long do we know do we have to wait? Only about half an hour. Half an hour? I'll bake in the sun. It's better than throwing up your lunch. Lesson 14. A good chiropractor. Do you know where I could get a back massage? What's wrong with your back? It hurts a lot when I sit for too long. A masseuse will not help you with that pain. What do you suggest I do? I think you should go to the chiropractor. What does he do? He adjusts the alignment of your back. Does this help with the pain? It usually does. Where can I find one? Look one up online. I'm sure you'll find one near you. Lesson 15. Sprained Ankle why are you using crutches? Can you keep a secret? Of course I can. What happened? I sprained my ankle yesterday. What were you doing? It's kind of a secret. Why is it a secret? I'm a spy, and if I tell you, I'll get in trouble. Do you really expect me to believe that? All right. I'll be serious this time. Good. What really happened? I got hurt during my ninja training. Lesson 16. Emergency Swallowed Coin 911, what is your emergency? Hello. This is John. My child swallowed something. Is your child breathing all right? Yes, but he is complaining of chest pains. Do you know what it is he swallowed? It was a coin. I think it was a nickel. How old is your son? He's five years old. 
Please give me your address and we will send paramedics. Should I hang up after that? No, please stay on the line in case something changes. All right, thank you. Lesson 17, Marathon. That's a funny looking outfit. It's a professional running suit. Why are you wearing it? I'm training for the marathon. I didn't know you liked running. I'm just trying to lose weight. Well, this is a good way to do it. The marathon is also a fundraiser. Maybe I'll sponsor you. Why don't you just run instead? Are you calling me fat? I just thought both sides would benefit that way. Lesson 18, Broken Legs Can you help me get up the stairs, please? Of course. What happened to your leg? I broke it a week ago. How did that happen? I was playing basketball and fell. Ouch! Did someone push you? No, I just jumped and landed wrong. I broke my leg once, too. How did it happen to you? A boy pushed me down a hill and I landed on my leg. That sounds like a mean kid. Yes, but I kicked him with the cast. Lesson 19, Emergency Kit Ow! That really hurts. Are you all right? What happened? I accidentally cut myself. Is it very deep? I don't think so, but it hurts a lot. You should disinfect it. I don't have anything with me. Here, use this ointment. Do you always carry that with you? Yes, along with some bandages. That's a very good idea. Perhaps you should do the same. Lesson 20, Health Club Membership Hey, where were you all afternoon? I was working out at the health club. You went to the gym? It's more than just a gym. All you do is lift weights, right? No, there's also swimming, sports, and even dancing. They have dancing at a health club? Of course. It's good for your coordination. I've heard that it's also good for toning your muscles. You should join me sometime. Maybe if I work out, I'll look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think you look more like Danny DeVito. Lesson 21, Blurry Vision. Can I borrow your class notes? Sure, but didn't you take any down? I couldn't really see the board. Do you sit too far away? I think I just need new glasses. You should be careful. It could be serious. What do you mean? You could have a concussion. Or worms could be eating my eyes. Maybe you're a robot and your batteries are dying. I'm pretty sure I just need new glasses. Even so, you should probably buy some batteries. You look troubled. I feel terrible. What's the problem? I went hiking in the mountains last week. Isn't that supposed to relax you? Yes but I wore shorts instead of pants. So, it's hot there. 
I was eaten alive by mosquitoes and ticks. Deer ticks are really dangerous. I know. I had to go to the doctor. Be more mindful next time. Trust me, I will. I hate deer ticks. Lesson 23, a disease. How are you feeling? A little better, but it is still hard to talk. What did the doctor say the problem was? It's called mononucleosis. Isn't that the kissing disease? There are other ways to get it besides kissing. Oh yeah? Name a few. Sharing drinks and food also spreads the disease. Really? I share drinks with my friends all the time. Yeah, so did I. Well, I won't share with you again, that's for sure. I won't share with anyone ever again. Lesson 24, Hairbrush. I have so many split ends. How do you brush your hair? The same way everyone else does. I don't think so. You're supposed to use a brush. A comb isn't that different from a brush. Combs tear long hair and cause split ends. Really? All this time I blamed my shampoo. Well, good shampoo helps to repair it. What should I do? Always brush it before you comb it. Then maybe I won't look like a broom. It takes hard work to have nice hair. Lesson 25, Eating Donuts. Hey, what's that you're eating? It's steamed rice cake. My grandma made it. Does it taste good? It's delicious. I think it's my favorite dessert. I think I'll stick to jelly donuts. Do you want one? No thanks. If you eat too many of those, you'll get fat. All pastries make you fat. That's true, but the ones with sugar are the worst. Sugar makes them taste good. Try this rice cake. It has a little sugar. I guess that is pretty good. It is, and it's healthier than donuts, too. Lesson 1. A new car. Let's go for a ride. Where are we going? Into the mountain. That sounds nice. I want to show you my new car. You bought a new car? Yes, I bought a Cadillac. A luxury car. What are we waiting for? Let me get the keys. Let me get my camera. Lesson 2. Two birds with one stone. Uh, when are we going to stop? We'll stop at the next McDonald's. How far away is that? I think we'll be there in half an hour. I hope so. I have to go to the bathroom. Well, I can always pull over. No, thank you. I'll just wait. We can kill two birds with one stone. What do you mean? While you're using the bathroom, I'll order some food. Don't order for me. I'm not hungry. Lesson 3. What will people think? I don't like riding the bus. Why not? The seats and the windows are dirty. Don't they clean the bus every night? I think they do. You should bring some wipes with you. That's a good idea. Then you can wipe your seat and window. People will think I'm strange. Who cares? Everyone is strange. That's for sure. Don't worry about what people think.
Lesson four: A dream car. I need a cheap car. How much money do you have? A thousand dollars. Well, that should get you something. But I need something that's reliable. You need a car with low mileage. A car that was owned by a little old lady. Where have you looked? I haven't looked anywhere yet. Why not? Because I'll never find one for such a low price. You're right about that. Keep saving your money. Lesson five: The crosswalk. Life isn't fair. It sure isn't. I got a ticket yesterday. What for? I was crossing the street. Were you in a crosswalk? Yes, but the red hand was blinking. So that's a ticket. Yes, it's a hundred and forty dollar ticket. That's not right. When I started to cross the street, the white walk sign was blinking. You need to walk faster. Lesson six: Beware the cards. What happened to your car? I got a dent in the parking lot. How did you get it? I don't know. Maybe it was from a shopping cart. Those shopping carts are dangerous. Especially the metal ones. I don't park at a store that uses metal shopping carts. That's a good idea, but there was a good sale at this store. Did you save any money on the sale? Yes, I did. I saved about fifty dollars. That's great. Yes, except this dent will cost about a hundred and fifty. Lesson seven: Too many cars. Look at this traffic. I'd rather not. It gets worse every year. Why are you complaining? We're going almost twenty miles an hour. The speed limit is sixty-five. Well, that's between two o'clock and four a.m. Where are all these people going? They're all asking the same question. When are they going to fix this problem? They said they need more money. They always need more money. It'll get worse before it gets better. Lesson eight: A slow walker. A hundred and forty dollars? I can't believe it. What are you talking about? I I got a ticket downtown for a hundred and forty dollars. Were you speeding? No, I was crossing the street. Were you jaywalking? No, I was in the crosswalk. So why did you get a ticket? The officer said that red hand was blinking. Was it blinking when you entered the crosswalk? No, the white walk sign was blinking. You should fight that ticket. I'll be your witness. Lesson nine: The missing car. Where's the car? What do you mean? The car isn't here. Where did you park it? I parked it right here. Are you sure? Yes, I remember this big tree. Maybe it's the wrong tree. No, this is the, the, the tree. Did someone steal it? I sure hope not. Maybe they towed it away. Lesson ten: Wash the car. My car is dirty. Why don't you wash it? That's what I'm going to do. Are you going to wash it yourself? Of course, it's not a hard job. I'll help you. Okay, I'll get a bucket. I'll rinse the car first. Then we can scrub it with a wet sponge and soap. After that, we can dry it with a towel.
Then it will look like new. And you saved ten dollars. Lesson eleven. Check your tires. Remember to put air in your tires. How often do I have to do that? Once every two months. That's a lot. What do you mean? That's six times a year. Yes, and it takes about five minutes each time. I'll try. Check your tires, or you'll get a flat. Oh, that's not good. No, it isn't. A flat costs you time and money. And I don't have either. Lesson twelve: A bad driver. Good afternoon, officer. Your driver's license and registration, please. Here you go. Uh, do you know why I pulled you over? I have no idea. All of a sudden, I heard your siren. You rolled through that stop sign back there. But I stopped. No, you didn't. You slowed down, but you didn't come to a full stop. Well, nobody else does, so why should I? That's not the attitude of a good driver. But I am a good driver. I've never had a ticket in my life. Well, we've got one now. Here, have a nice day. Lesson thirteen: Don't ride the bus. I don't like riding the bus. Why not? Number one, it's too slow. You're right. A car is faster. Number two, it's usually late. You're right. The buses are never on time. Number three, it doesn't run twenty-four hours. You're right. Buses don't run late at night. Number four, it's too crowded. You're right. You have to stand in the aisle. Number five, it's unsafe. You're right. Bad guys might rob you. Lesson fourteen. Don't call the police. Did you see that car? Yes, he went through the red light. Can we call the police? No, the police don't care. Why not? They have to see it happen. They didn't believe us. No, they can only give a ticket if they see it happen. So, what do we do? We don't do anything. Uh, maybe we should honk the horn next time. The driver will just honk back at us. Lesson fifteen: Hit and run. They were in a crosswalk near school at three a.m. Who? Two students from USC. What happened? A speeding car ran a red light, killing the girl. What happened to the other student? He landed on the hood of the car. Did he get off the hood? No, the car stopped, and the passenger pushed the injured student off the hood. I'll bet the car continued on its way. Of course it did. Why stop after you've run over two people? I hope they find them and put them in jail for a life. Lesson sixteen. Don't cut the tires. We had a problem at school. What was the problem? Someone cut the tires. What tires? The tires on the cars. Where were the cars? They were in the student parking lot. How many tires were cut? One or two tires were cut on each car. How many cars? Eleven cars. That's terrible. I hope they catch the person. Lesson seventeen. Beat the light. This is such a long light. Look, how many cars are waiting in line? They need a left turn arrow. 
Only two cars can make a left turn every three or four minutes. We'll be here forever. Get out of this lane. But we need to turn left. Forget it. Go straight. Then what? Then we'll just make a U-turn. And then we can turn right at the light. Good idea. It will be so much quicker. Lesson 18. It's okay to speed. You're driving too fast. Why do you say that? The speed limit is 65. I know that. But you're doing 75. So is everyone else. But a cop might stop you. No, he won't. Some cars are doing 85. So the cop will stop those cars? Of course. He stops the fastest cars. My friend got a ticket for doing 75. If your friend was unlucky... Lesson 19. I'm going to explode. I have to go to the bathroom. Why didn't you go before we left? I did, but I have to go again. Well, hold on a little longer. I think I'm going to explode. Just hold on. Oh, don't hit any more bumps. We'll be at McDonald's in just a few minutes. I hope there are fast minutes. Think about something else. Think about a hamburger. I'm thinking, but I still have to go. It's the next exit. Hold on. Lesson 20. Windy weather. It sure is windy today. Paper is flying everywhere. This wind is dangerous for drivers. Especially for drivers of big trucks. The wind blows those trucks over. It blows the trees over, too. A tree fell onto my dad's car. Was there much damage? My dad had to buy a new car. Wow, that's terrible. Never park your car under a tree. The wind will get you, or the birds will get you. Lesson 21. Don't be in a hurry. You're driving too fast. I'm in a hurry. Don't ever be in a hurry. It's not my fault you didn't wake me up. That's not my fault you didn't tell me to wake you up. Well, I meant to. Don't ever be in a hurry when you're driving. Why not? Because you'll have an accident. Most accidents are because people are in a hurry. How do you know that? I read a lot. I thought drunks caused most accidents.